Simon, you're a very keen cyclist and you're combining your love of the road with raising some money for charity. Tell us all about that. Um, started over a few beers about nine months ago with a, a, a good friend of mine, Mark Dutton, who unfortunately lost his mother when she was 50 to very aggressive uh, breast cancer. Mark was 50 this year and wanted to kind of honour his mum's memory uh, and do something to raise money for breast cancer research. Um, as I say, over a few beers, a mountain biking ride in Madagascar seemed like a good idea. As it gets closer and closer, I'm beginning to uh, regret the idea, but I'm looking forward to it. Well, you're well travelled, of course. With Manchester City, right. you go to the away games in Europe, but this is going to be a different journey altogether, yeah. never mind the cycling. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the, the actual challenge itself is organised by a company called Global Adventures Challenges, based in Chester. Uh, and we fly on the Friday the 27th or the 28th of September, we arrive, we fly through Ethiopia, through Addis Ababa, and we arrive in Antanaviro on the Saturday morning. We start cycling on the Sunday, and we finish on the Friday night. So we're cycling for six days, and it's approximately 400 kilometres of mountain biking. So it's uh, going to be fairly tough. Yeah, Madagascar is very different to the Netherlands, so your <laughs> legs are going to be working overtime. Yeah, 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 very much so. We've been doing a lot of training. We did the Trans Pennine uh, a couple of weeks ago from Stockport over to Sheffield, which is it's bordering on 60 miles and 4,000 feet of climbing. So uh, that was the last big um, training ride um, before we actually go. We're all doing individual training anyway. I'm out most days on my bike at the moment. Uh, and out for longer runs at the weekend. Well, we were at Park Hall today. Did you come on your bike here? No, I didn't today, no, because I was down at the depot um, fairly early on and it's, uh, it would be quite an early start to get to the depot for seven. But back to the charity itself, of course, there's a connection there with your friend. And I guess while you're out there pushing those pedals in the heat and the humidity yeah. of Madagascar, every single turn of the wheel will be a reminder to you yeah, of right. not only how precious life is yeah. but also what you're personally doing to help those yeah. in this unfortunate situation I think, I think in fairness to you most people uh, unfortunately could name somebody that they know that has been affected by uh, any form of cancer any form of cancer is a, is a, is a dreadful disease and any breakthrough that they can make in, in treating one cancer has benefits for other cancers because the treatments are very similar and the, the you know the, the way forward is very similar. Um, so yeah, anything we we did a raffle which was drawn a couple of Fridays ago. That's raised a fair amount of money. But we have um, a BT giving page uh, which is called Biking for a Breast because there's actually four of us doing it: Mark's wife Yvette uh, and Mark's national sales manager Debbie. Have both been kind of press ganged into it as well as Mark and I so um, as I say we're looking forward to it be a tough challenge but uh, you know anybody that wants to donate if they have a look at the BT giving page biking for a breast please feel free and the more the merrier thank you well I was going to ask you how can people get behind it and as we're talking now yeah. on the screen as people are watching the address is there for them to get in touch that's brilliant thank you very much Stuart well finally Simon what started out as a venture discussed over a couple of beers. You're about to hit the road, yeah. literally, yeah. shortly. We do wish you all the very, very best from everyone at the New Saints. Thank you very much indeed.